Hey everybody, it's Rain again, and today is day four. I'm going to run out of fingers on this because I am going to be doing one day, the whole season of spring, of my spring into action plan. But today is day four. I want to talk about goal setting because it doesn't seem to be there a lot, you know. Well, I guess everybody has a little bit of peace of mind here, but I just want to share something that's kind of helped me. Um, because you know what? I have always, I don't know why, I mean, I can do just about anything, but for some reason, it's really hard for me to picture in my mind and focus on goals. I don't know why, I've just kind of gone through this world, and I've always done okay, and you know, I've done better than okay, and it's just been one of those things. But anyway, of course, I've always looked at, at positive, positive thinking. I think that's one of the best things that's always been a strength of mine, is because I do that. I quit watching the news probably five or six years ago. Yes. I still watch TV. I have the occasional program that I watch. And uh, However, I don't watch the news. Um, it's not worth it. I don't even like to listen to the news because most of it's negative and I don't want to have that kind of negative thing in my mind, right? And I can catch up on important things. Everything else is just, you know, it's just noise. It really is noise. And the media is so out of control and they sensationalize everything. It's noise. So one of the things that I did want to talk about, like I said today, when you're getting involved in a company, and as you know, now I'm starting to promote Easy One Up with everything else that I have behind backing it up, which is awesome. It's the mindset, right? So this is um, yeah, this is my blog. Uh, I'm not 100% great on doing blogs yet. I'm still learning too, right? But anyways. In the mindset, this is my daughter, Abby, there, and she's on the beach. This was actually taken a year ago, February, and for winter for us to have that on Lake Huron, it was unbelievable warm, mild weather. Usually it's ice packed. Anyways, so over here what I've done is I've put some books in here, and this had me thinking last night when I was reading, because yes, I do read. Um, Napoleon Hill, not just his thinking, grow rich. I mean, that's sort of a shorter version of the book that he wrote called The 16 Laws of Success. And I am attempting to go through that Tome again. Um, and I'm on concentrated thinking right now is the, oh, I can't remember, I think it's the 12th law. That's where I am right now. And then I started thinking, okay, he is an intellectual man. So when he writes, plus it's, you know, it's written, my God, almost 100 years ago. So the language that was used was a little different. So it's always been kind of difficult for me to get through it. However, I'm getting through it now, and I actually really, really get it. So one of the things, though, the books here I just wanted to share with you, and this is in my blog. If you go to Mindset, it's there um, that you can just grab it like this, right? Magic of Thinking Big. It's a little more in layman's terms. And if you look at all of these books, they all come back to the laws of what Napoleon Hill wrote. Just got some numbers I put down here too, so I can just zip to the page. Uh, so, what I look at here, okay, this book really did kind of help me to focus and narrow down how I needed to put it together. All right. So, his chapter in here, using goals to help you grow. I mean, it's really, really great. So, you know, he goes through different things here, um, but this is one of the things I really like. Use the planning guide he has. All right. So he said he says in it, imagine yourself 10 years from now, right? So work. What income level do I want to attain? You know, what level of responsibility do I see? How much authority do I want to command? What prestige do I expect to gain for my work? So I like that because it's categorized into different areas. Then there's home. What kind of standard of living do I want to provide for my family and myself? What kind of house do I want to live in? What kind of vacations do I want to take? What financial support do I want to give my children in their early adult years? That to me is key because, you know, I have kids. Then again, now here's the third area, the social department. So what kind of friends do I want to have, right? Thinking in long terms of the mastermind and, you know, um, you make or uh, on average the five most, the five most influential people that are in your life. So what social groups do I want to join? What community leadership positions would I like to hold? What worthwhile causes do I want to champion, right? So be, do, what is it? Be, be, do, have, and then there's a the fourth, which is give. Now yeah, I had to think about that for a second. Sorry. <laughs> but I really like how he just categorized it. Now you could do this three years 
five years, ten years, right? So you're looking in the concept of work. Do I want to be self-employed or do I still want to have a J-O-B? And then again, home. What do I want my home life to be like, right? And then social. Those three areas, for some reason, really help me tune into how to set my goals. Okay, the other beautiful thing that I like about this book and I'm going to pop over here because I've got it in here. Uh, da, da, bum, bum. There we go. 30-day improvement guide, okay? This is something in here. You look at it, go between now and whatever. Break these habits, right? You're going to break some habits because in order to put a new path, right, part of changing your thought is introducing new habits, but you're breaking habits too. So putting off things, negative language, watching TV, yeah, huh? gossip. Gossip is huge. Get rid of it. So, and then you want to acquire these habits, right? So your rigid, your rigid warning examination of how you look, how you look is a representation of how you feel. Um, planning each day's work the night before, okay? We've got organized thought now. Complimenting people. Yeah, you compliment people, good things, it's going to be more of that power of attraction, right? It's good, positive, everything's great. And then again, how can you increase your value, right? Whether it's to your employer, whether it's to yourself, to your employees, something's there. And then increasing my value in my home as well, right? So you're going to be doing a lot of this. So this really breaks it down again, and then sharpening my mind, right? Read one self-help book. Make four new friends. This is only 30 days, remember, right? Spend 30 minutes daily in, in quiet, undisturbed thinking. Yeah, that gives you time when you got rid of that TV, the 60 minutes, you just bought yourself time. So there's all sorts of things, okay? Um, again, you could, oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> How do you love those pop-ups? <laughs> so the other thing here that I thought was really cool um, where is it? Your best in, two best investments, self investments. One is invest in education, right? Doesn't matter how. I've got, I mean, I've got a master's degree in project management, right? I've got an undergrad. Does that help? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I did really well for a while there, but after I took a 10 year break to be a stay at home mom, guess what? <laughs> yeah, I guess I kind of, um, uh, 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 I, I just lost my train of thought for the words there. But I wasn't as marketable. Let's put it that way. So now I'm making my own ways to hell with them. You know, to hell with them. That's what I say. But invest in your education. Easy one up's a great way to do it. Okay? Because if that's the business you want to learn, why wouldn't you do it? It's cheaper than going to school. Oh my God, it's way cheaper than going to school. The other thing in here, number two, is invest in idea starters. Oh my God, why didn't they tell me this when I was in high school? So these are just the things that, that make life real and really bring it into fruition when you're looking at setting your goals and who you want to be and how you want to be. So that's all I'm going to say today. But you know what? I just wanted to show you. I don't know if you can see that on the back there. Oh, the back wall. I don't know if you can focus in on that. Anyways, it says HBD Mom. It's my birthday today and my daughter snuck down the stairs last night after we were all in bed and made sure it was there when I got up first thing this morning. I was so happy. She's only 12. And it just, you know, those are the little things in life that just really touch your soul. So without further ado, I'm going to let you go. If there's something there to think about, again, go over to my blog. Grab that book, The Magic of Thinking Big. It really is awesome. Anyway, have a great day. Peace. Love and prosperity to all. It's just wonderful. Be real.